Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing an unboxing of the latest Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Super Card game. So it's Power Absorb um, Collector Booster. So uh, this is from the Zenkai 3 series. I actually don't know too much about this. Um, I normally just collect the game myself and then I saw that this just came in today. And I thought, yeah, might as well do an unboxing because this is the first time that um, Dragon Ball Super has done pretty much like a collector booster type. So for those that don't know much about collector boosters, it's pretty much like the high-end um, booster packs. Um, and it's actually started by uh, Wizard of the Coast for Magic the Gathering. Um, so these boxes are a lot more expensive, but with the normal collector boosters, we should be getting a lot more like foils and things like that. So yeah, I'll be honest with you. It's a bit of a contradiction in my opinion because we all not like exclusive cards and we all like rare pool cards and stuff like that but at the same time if we open like a lot of like normal packs and things then we get a whole bunch of like non foils which is a bit of a waste in my opinion but then releasing this that means you're no longer special because everybody's just opening this product and everybody's just getting the foils and things like that so yeah it's a catch 20. um so anyway, there is 237 types in total. I actually don't know too much about this, so forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, 60 comments, which has the foil version, 38 comments, which is the no the normal um, foil versions, and 30 rares, which is the foil versions as well. So that said, yeah, if you want to foil out a whole deck, this is probably the best way to go. 18 super rare cards, same card as Zenkai 3, 15 special rare, same as Zenkai 3, 3 secret rare, which is same as Zenkai 3. So basically, this is just opening Zenkai 3. However, uh, to my understanding, the old, the old art cards are what's different from this box to the other boxes, which this is what everybody wants. And then you have 13 alternative art cards, which is hollow and gold stand version exist in the 33 of the 36 types, and then one original holograph card, and we don't know what that is. Um, this one is actually made in Japan, so it's actually pretty cool. First look of it, the box actually does look pretty nice. It's probably a not a bit better than Magic. Uh, let me go and find some scissors. Ooh, ah. I wasn't expecting this to be that hard to open because normally the magic ones are a lot more easier to open than... Alright, let's have a look. So, this is what the box looks like. Yeah, let's... So you actually open it from the top here. Oh, and that's where the thing is. There are some dotted lines, so if you want to do a display, you can actually open it like this for the stores. But then the thing is that like that and then you pop it down and then that's your this uh, you pop it on the back then that that is pretty much your display so that's what a display looks like so not too bad <laughs> um yeah not great but anyway so this seems to be the box topper and it's uncommon so this you do get a um i think on the back it says that box promotion so you do actually get a bonus card front and back hollow leader card so I would say that every single box comes with this. And these are the packs. So inside we get 12 booster packs. And each pack comes with 12 cards. All made in Japan from the B20C. So Zenkai 3. Alright, so first we'll have it open to see what it looks like. And go from there. I know there are tabs on the side, but normally I don't like opening it from the tab because it's actually quite easy to damage if you don't get it right. Alright, so in the beginning we have SS Vegeta, which is basically the foil. Yeah, the foil looks a... Yeah, the foil is basically just like the foil from a normal pack. So in a normal pack, what actually happens is that you always get like a foil card, so it might be a common or uncommon. So getting those is actually quite... 
being able to foil a whole deck was actually quite hard to do when um, the first, you know, like original Dragon Ball. But then with the collector boosters, it's the same. It's a pretty much the same with Magic. Um, doing, I think this might be a. Oh, uh, maybe because it doesn't actually have a frame, but I don't know. You guys will know more than me, and um, we'll go from there. So with magic nowadays, it's actually quite easy to foil a whole deck because of how yeah. So that's what I mean by like the, that double edge blade. And this is a SPR, and it's a bit of a bummer because you can actually see a whole line on top. Down. It feels like it, there, there was like a band there. Um, otherwise, the card looks pretty cool. But yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see that streak line there. That's a bit of a bummer. What does it look like on the back? So on the back, there isn't any noticeable damage. But yeah, this one <laughs> feels like someone's taped over the card. Oh, all right. So that's a SPR, and then this is a normal SR. And then there's a uh, uncommon, so maybe there's an old art. I'm not too sure. <laughs> and then, ooh, that looks cool. So that's a uh, rare, but it looks um, it's like all foiled out. There is basically like stamps on it. But then again, I can see such a heavy print line there. So that's ah, uh, oh, that looks really cool though. That does look really nice. Yeah, after opening so many boxes of magic, and then like we, we open things like Dragon Ball, and you realize that, man, Wizard makes a lot of money <laughs> because they, they, they cut so much on, um, they save so much on like the card quality and stuff like that. All right, pack number two. Let's go. Um, there's our foil common, and then we have our commons. Ah, this is basically that. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. So I'm not too sure what that box topper, what, what was special about it. Ah, right. So on the back of this card, it's actually non-foiled, where the box topper one is actually a foiled version of it. So you get double-sided foil, which is interesting. All right, uncommon. We'll put it all together. Uncommon, rare. And then we get an SR. So that again, that is that super rare slot. This time we don't have that. Um, <laughs> this time we don't have that tape band on it. And then that's a common. So I guess these are old arts because they have. Yeah, it, it comes from that other slot one. So I guess these are all the alternative art, common and uncommon and things like that. And then we have um, Hellfighter Seventeen. And lucky last, we have a common. So I guess these are, again, old arts as well with um, stamps. That actually looks really cool for a common though. <laughs> wow. Nice. Alright, so we got a rear, we got a... That is actually quite nice. The thing was that this box set seems to be very limited. Um, we actually got a bit, a bit of our allocation card from it, so unfortunately, it's a bit of a bummer. Uncommon, uncommon, and then we have our rare. So it feels like in the front, it's all the same cards that you can get from the normal booster packs. Then we get the SR. No, uh, there might be. Yep, SR Android 17. So I guess these are from the packs as well. And then this is where we start getting like the old arts or things like that. Vegeta, that's pretty cool. And then we get a uh, SS4 Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku Otherworldly Infiltrator. I think that that these are actually very nice looking. These are extremely well done. That looks really cool. Um, all that last card, the um, old arts with the stamps and things like that they just look really really nice so i guess the last cards in there will probably be like the chest so you probably want like the secrets there or something like that so all right uncommon 
uncommon, uncommon, and then we have the SRs, and then we have the alt, um, should be the alt rears, and then alt uncommon, and then <laughs> foil common, um, or art common. Man, these are really pretty. All right, so we'll probably oops. We'll probably start going a bit faster now. I don't think anybody wants to see the front end, so we'll go fast. Rares. Oh. Okay. Do we get any oh we don't get any um SRs in that one. <laughs> and we got Combra Furious Frenzy. It's a common. Oh, it's a real, sorry. Ooh, we got a secret. You are number one. Oh, that looks really cool. SCR, so you can see that it's a SCR there. Wow. That looks so impressive. That looks really nice. Alright. So we got one secret. So that's good. I wonder how um I wonder how rare these are. Alright, so let's keep going. Uncommon. Common. And we get our rear. For your rear. We get our SR. Android 21. Man, it really makes me feel like you don't really even need to open normal boxes anymore. Just get like collector boxes. These are these are so pretty. And then, and then we got an SR Song Gohan Strength of Conviction. Man, that looks so cool. I'm really glad that I decided to open the box. Because originally I was like, oh, so I wanna because this is actually like the last box that I got. The others were on pre-order. So I decided like, oh yeah, let's open one. Ah, one problem you can see that there is actually a line across. So it feels like um the production issues are actually there. So it's a bit of a bummer, but secret is a secret. Common. Son Goku Majin Showdown, Son Goku Spirit Bomb, and then we have our SR. And then we have our O Art Rears. And we have a uh, Vegeta against the Odd. I think we. Uh, we didn't get those ones. So there's another O Art. Alright, five packs left. Alright, beyond. So go 10. Uncommon. And then we have uncommon, rare, uh, SPR. So that's Android 21 full power counter. That looks really cool. And then we have a common, common. And we got an uncommon Vegito unexpected separation. Oh, cool. I want, I, I, it's a bit of a bummer because my my favorite villain was actually like Cell and things like that. So I've um I've actually never watched. Uh, I think I stopped at the original manga series, so I've actually never seen any of the super characters. But it feels like Majin Buu is still quite a, and the androids are actually still quite a bit of a. Um, popular characters but I personally really like the Cell Saga that was pretty much my favorite arc SR Universe 7 power combined and then we have the alts or arts and we have a real oh that looks cool Android 17 supporting his sister so I, I this is um oh art one oh that's cool so with the Android the background is actually like computer chips where the um, Saiyans are a lot more different. So these are, oh, I didn't <laughs> notice that until now. So that's actually pretty well done. All right, 
to have a look. Common. Uncommon. Common. Rare. SPR. Oh, that looks so nice. It says Vegeta Overwhelming Might. Man. Man, I really like Bandai cards. They, they do such a good job. R. Oops. Uh, SR. And we got. Oh, that looks nice as well. So, this is uh, Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku. Oh, wow. Okay, lucky last two. Alright. So, common. Ah, Cell. That looks cool. Oh, how come we didn't get like a. Like we didn't get like a. I'm not, I'm not too sure if there's like an old up version of him. That would actually be really nice. And there's SR. So, Android 18. And com and uncommon rare, and we got a SR Android Twenty One, all art. That is so cool. All right, lucky last pack. Oops, let's have a look. Alright, so we have one, two, three, enjoy 21, uncommon, uncommon, rare, we have a SR, common, or rare others, basically like all arts. Rare, and our last one is Ultimate Duel. Son Goku and Vegeta. That looks really cool. Alright, so yeah, that was quite fun to open actually. That that's um alright, let's have a look. So we've got a whole bunch of un um common or like old art cards there. So that's actually pretty cool. And um so feels like there's a SR version of that, and then there's a Oh so are these are these the 36 alternative art cards, so hollow and gold stamp versions exist for the 33 of the 36 types. So, feels like these are the old arts, um, correct? And then this, and then you get like the last card is like an old art with the stamp. So, not too, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's that. Um, in each pack, we are always getting at least one of these cards, which is really nice. Um, for the, I think these are the normal slots. So we got one SR, two SR, SPR. So SR, SPR, SR, 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 and SPR. Huh. So it does seem I, I can't remember. Uh, feels like a normal box back in like a normal box. I think you get like what. Three, two or three SPRs or something like that. So, in this, you are we only got three SPRs, but we did get a secret. But then the thing is that this secret is actually so in, in this slot there. So I'm not too sure how. Yeah, SRs. These are all SRs. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, and then we were missing one, which I think was actually the secret. So each pack you are getting, we are like getting off like a whole bunch of nice foils and things like that. Anyway, I actually don't know too much about Dragon Ball Super. I'm sorry if I can't provide much information, but hopefully this unboxing will give you a good idea to what to expect from the first ever collector booster box for um, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, as a, I really like foil cards myself, so I, I personally quite like it. So yeah, other than that, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you guys take it easy.